what is like the good things when you outsource, outstaff, etc. Um, what gains the like, business may get, right? Yeah, the benefits of it. People think uh, that outsourcing means always like a better price. Uh, it is true, of course, if it was more expensive, uh, for most of cases, people will not be coming like you now even two hours away from their homes. But I think most of our listeners would think that the cost is the primary factor for outsourcing or like, you know, uh, putting the some of the manpower like near shore. Indeed, it is not, especially for European countries who are located near shore to Ukraine. The trick is that uh, with the way we provide this setup, uh, it is way faster to scale the teams up and down. And I intentionally say like, you know, the both directions, right? What it takes to hire a person in, in Copenhagen, in Stockholm, in Helsinki, in, in Zurich or Paris, we perfectly know all the limitations that are existent on all the local labor markets. We know there is always a shortage for IT talent. We know that all these countries, all the cities that I had mentioned, all these countries, they have a huge local demand for IT talent. Let's look at Ukraine for now. Ukraine doesn't have a huge demand locally. It is picking up. The startups appear. Some of the like, you know, bigger organizations, enterprise level, of course, they are also willing to attract the best talent. But let's be honest, the majority of good software engineers are working for external markets because Ukraine probably doesn't need that much for now. And this number is growing of these developers who are willing to contribute to some else uh, uh, countries, some else businesses and things like that. So what we provide is an ability to build the team very fast, to do the job needed, and then be capable of also shrinking the team down when it is needed. Just because we have a demand for these people on our projects, we will be capable of like, you know, locating the best people that are on the team that at this stage for our client might be not needed, we'll find else project for them. Just because there is a good demand for Ukrainian developers worldwide. So this is the main advantage of uh, like, you know, outstaffing or like, you know, putting the teams uh, near shore. And of course the cost. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, to most, to most countries uh, in Europe, uh, if we consider the cost of ownership, not cost of like the salaries alone, cost of ownership with office, with the overheads, with the HR, accounting, uh, desks, uh, taxes, everything, the cost of ownership in Ukraine is still significantly lower. And this is something that also gives additional advantages to our potential clients and to our clients. There's also, you mentioned a lot of good things, but there's also things that you should watch out for before you, for example, decide to, uh, to outsource. Um, because in general, there is not always, but there is always some that have a bad experience. Lots of bad experiences, to be honest. And I believe this is often due to the reason of people not being prepared to what outsourcing or like nearshoring is all about. It is never an easy path. I mean, like, you know, I always tell our potential clients, if you can hire the people locally, don't ever think about doing this remotely. This is more complex. It will take more of your manager's time. Guaranteed, it will have communication gaps for sure if even if they speak same language same french language same danish language which is hard to find in ukraine but still even if it was the same language the distance makes the impact and it only works if the company considers all pros and cons and understands okay locally we'll be competing with giants we'll be competing with banks we'll be competing with with the companies who don't really limit themselves in budgeting, right? They can throw the money on people just to get the best that they can. Nobody wants to get worst on the market. Everyone wants to have the best developers. Where can I get the best developers? Probably somewhere else in Ukraine. Okay, let it be Ukraine. It doesn't mean that outsourcing simplifies the life of a business. In most cases, it makes things more complex on a setup stage when the business needs to invest time of their managers, Maybe sometimes to fly over and spend time with the team because the team needs that. 
maybe uh, to be solving some of the things more formally. In in an office in uh, in uh, Copenhagen, you could go for a coffee and like have one to one with the person that you want to talk about, and and the problem is solved. With a remote person, you cannot go for a coffee. You need to schedule a meeting or like call immediately and spend these 15 minutes or 30 minutes talking about these particular things. So the worst thing I think for the business with outsourcing slash uh, near shoring is the essence of good time investments that are essential here. Without that, it will be a bad experience, always, guaranteed.